3, let's get to that breaking news in Walnut Hills where crews have been battling a big three alarm fire for hours no, uh, now. WCPO 9 reporter Paula Ciro has the latest from the scene. Good morning, Paula. Yeah, good morning, Julie. So the good news with no injuries, the building was actually ba vacant. It was built in 1910. But the bad news, it has been hours. I just want to move out of the way so that you can kind of see just a few seconds ago, there were actually large, large flames and a lot of black smoke coming out of this building. I actually just tweeted a video of it, but uh, you can see they are really trying to put this fire out from the very top. That's because the fire got started near the attic and um, the district chief tells me it's actually been very difficult to attack the fire, to even find the fire from up there. Uh, but just to put into perspective, we're about one street over from the intersection of Martin Luther King Drive and uh, Gilbert Avenue on Buena Vista Place. Gilbert has reopened. It was closed at first, but now it has been reopened. Buena Vista Place here, this street um, is still closed. This is a three alarm fire, so fire companies have been fighting this for a few hours. They received the call around 1.30 this morning, so it has been, you know, a little more than five hours now. Um, now, according to Cincinnati Fire, this building, as I mentioned, has been vacant. It was built in 1910, and the district fire chief actually tells me that uh, that's a good thing because it's been a little safer for their crews to battle this. If this was newer construction, then that would be a lot more difficult for the crews to get in there because it's not as stable. So this building, uh, it being older, it's better construction, so it is safer on crews. But they do tell me they will be out here for a lot more hours. As you can see, this is still very active, even though it's been more than five hours. So of course, we'll keep you updated. Uh, when it comes to cause, they're still going to have to investigate this because the focus right now is just to put it out. For now, reporting live in Walnut Hills, I'm Powell Cerro, WCPO 9 News.